Hey YouTube, and thanks for watching Junkworks Garage. Well, I just got done actually putting a lift on my Jeep Liberty. So if you want to watch that, go check out my Jeep Liberty playlist. But beyond that, um, in the midst of doing that, uh, I needed to use a spring compressor. Not because I needed to, but because I screwed up. Go watch the video if you want to find out. Um, but regardless, I needed a spring compressor. And I went to the O'Reilly's and the one that I rented from there won't work with a Jeep Liberty springs uh, with the strut on that. So that's kind of how this video starts is it was going to be kind of part of another video and it turned into a whole video on its own of how to what kind of spring compressor will work with a Jeep Liberty. Because I tell you what, I had trouble finding one unless I spent a whole lot of money. So there are technically four, actually five, technically five different spring compressors in this video, even though I think by the end I end up saying three. But what it is, I actually bought three different spring compressors. So this video is going to show you that the O'Reilly's one that you rent won't work. And then I got three more. And in the video, I'll show you which one of those will work. And you'll be able to get a chance of seeing kind of what I think about them. I don't spend a lot of time on it because I just needed to get the job done. And in the end, you'll see what one I actually end up using. So um, if you're looking for a spring compressor in general or need to do the springs on your Jeep Liberty for some reason, um, you'll have my idea of what I think about if you need to do that, first of all, at the end. Um, second of all, you'll know which one you can use if you need to, more than likely. So that is kind of why this video kind of starts what looks like in the middle and probably ends what looks like in the middle. I don't know. But regardless, it, it didn't start out the way I planned on it going. So that's why I'm doing this. Well, hopefully you enjoy it. We got spring. I got this McPherson Strut Spring Compressor. And I rented it from O'Reilly's. And I'm hoping, I was afraid of that, this will not work for this. Because it will not fit down in here. There's no way. And right in the middle of me working on this thing, this showed up the front door. My wife gave me a call, told me there was something heavy out there half torn apart well there's a big hole over here and it wasn't closed very well so we're gonna go ahead oh great yep it was definitely bashed in so it's definitely bashed in quite honestly I'm gonna send this back because the case is destroyed on it since we are trying to make a tool to see if it'll work, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and uh, see if it'll even work with this one. This is, uh, I'm not even sure what the name of this is. It doesn't even say on the outside. Alright, this is the one looks like it'll work with a lot of different things but here's my problem i'm having is right here it has this bump comes with three different size of springs a heavy duty looking thing here um, for pushing it together uh, i don't know I, my sd card filled up so i don't know what you saw but i was talking about this right here and how that may be too big to go in here we're going to see right now whether or not this is going to fit on there. Well, I wasn't sure. That's what I was worried about. I would have to modify this and grind it down for it to actually fit into these springs in any way, shape, or form. Which, honestly, I do not want to do. Um, anyhow, so... But regardless, I would have sent this back anyway because they did a, such a poor job of packaging knowing that 
whoever is shipping this is going to end up destroying it. Yet they still don't package things worth a damn. Got another delivery, I believe anyways. It's another one of the spring compressors. This one looks to be uh, delivered in decent fashion. The box isn't toast like the last one anyway. And if it works on this, it'll probably work on about anything I'm finding out. I don't know what it is about this Jeep, but it is uh, much more difficult. And yet again, I will put the name. I got it off Amazon and uh, price below. Right now, for testing purposes, I just need to see if this thing will... Um, fit in here. Well, in the end, I think if I kind of manipulated it, I might be able to make this one work. So I like this one um, as far as the built quality and as far as the fact it got to me in one piece. But um, I think, the, like I said, I think the other one would be easier to modify. This one, I'd have to probably use a hammer and knock it in there. Getting it back out would be even more difficult, so I don't want to... I don't want to mess with this one probably. So this one's probably going to be going back as well. Um, as you can see, there's a plate here. I'm making a homemade version of one. We'll see if that one works out. Well, here's the third and final uh, spring compressor thing here. And uh, I want it to be shown yet again that UPS couldn't be bothered to actually keeping it in one piece. Um, and they obviously aren't packaging things well that are very heavy. Anything that's over about five pounds, unless it's, you know, packaged amazingly, is going to show up completely, you know, broke open. This strap wasn't even on it. I put the strap back on it. The strap was laying off to the side of it. Um, and it was just sitting on my porch just like this, all opened up. So good chance that from where this came from, it does not have all the parts in it, but we shall maybe find out. Quite honestly, I already resigned that I'm probably going to just use my homemade press unless uh, it doesn't work out. But, but these are the three cheapest ones that I could get delivered to me uh, via Amazon. And uh, boy, I tell you, two of them, I definitely got what I paid for in packaging. But the tools weren't bad. I would say the tools, all in all, were okay as far as what, you know, quality. Uh, the shipping was horrible on the one. The other one did fine. This one's been horrible. So I got one out of three boxes delivered to me in good shape. Um, we got the main. This is a big press. Um, and this is why I'm not even going to bother probably putting this together unless mine just absolutely fails. I just want to see if everything kind of made it here um, in one piece. And we got. So here's the spring that I screwed up on. I need to press this out. This appears like it actually might work. Might work. There we go. So. I do think, in the end, this one will work if I need it to. Right now, I'm going to box this thing up and we're going to go test out my other one. We'll see if it works. And here's the fourth and final one that I built. I will have a separate video on this. This is one of those places where I have to say, if you do anything I do and you hurt yourself, I'm not responsible. If you don't like the way I'm doing something, don't do it. But this, in theory, pretend this is the top of the spring here, kind of built it off of this, um, should go on. I'll be able to put it in my press and press it down and hopefully get it off. This is what I'm hoping will work. If that doesn't work, I will say this last one that I, got, I showed you, I believe will work. But if this works, I'm not going to spend the time putting this together and, and making positive sure. But the fact that those go in there, this is just like a giant press, basically. You put the 
the bottom of the spring in the, that clamp, that kind of silver clamp, and then those other things go into the springs and as you crank on the lever it pushes it down. Kind of a similar thing as, as what I'm going to be doing with this. So I believe this will work with just probably about any spring you have, I would assume. Um, you got to be careful, there is a difference between strut springs and like springs on my 65 Mustang. Those take different kinds of compressors, although I think this one, you'll have to find out the weight limits and things like that on whatever spring compressor you buy. And then you need to know the weight of the spring that you're compressing. But beyond that, um, I believe this one is probably the one you're going to want to get and unfortunately is the most expensive one if you wind up having to do what I did here with my Jeep. Um, yet again, you'll have to kind of go to my Jeep playlist and, and watch my strut replacement on my car to kind of figure out that story. But regardless, uh, more than likely you'd be better off buying a complete strut assembly and it would be it would be cheaper than even buying this right here. You can get two struts for that rig for cheaper than what it would cost to buy this. Um, I just wanted to figure out what I could do and how to make it work, and I figured I'd do this video so that if any of you are out there and you're having a problem finding a tool that'll work, now you know this one will probably work with just about anything out there, or you can build your own. Um, yet again you need to make sure you're qualified at welding and know the strength of each one of these pieces which I don't but I'm taking my own personal life into my hands so to speak so yet again you're responsible for your own life let's go see if this will work so uh, I got my plate press homemade Dylan the Whopper here and I'm going to put it on and hope it all goes and I'm going to go ahead and put three of the nuts on because the fourth one I plunged up anyway There it is, put back together, ready to cut down again, only we're definitely going to do it right the first time. So that will be the next thing we end up doing. Um, definitely go out and just buy another one of these. Don't do what I just did. Um, it's not worth it. But if you want to save a buck or two, this worked. Um, I couldn't get one that would act, I could actually rent for free. I saw some things not like that, but similar to the idea of this. This one will work if you really wanted to. I don't know if I'd feel any safer using this. Um, it's definitely kind of the same kind of thing, only it's made for it, so it's all pressed into one thing. Um, might have been able to make this safer had I maybe, I don't know, used a clamp or something on the bottom to make sure it was held in better. Maybe if I ever have to do this again, I will do that. But if I ever have to do this again, yet again, 
I'll just go buy this whole thing and be done with it. Um, by the end of this, it wasn't worth it for me. Um, I just did it to see if I could. It became one of those. I just wanted to see if I could by then. I I should have had this stupid project done, you know, a couple weeks ago. Yet again, you are on your own when it comes to safety. You are responsible for your own safety, not me. Well, get out there and get your junk working. Thanks for watching Junk Works Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master of none. You all have a good one.